Controversy whether Oregon's governor should release inmates early to cut coronavirus danger behind bars. Well, this is what she said today. Do I plan to early release adults in custody as a result of the COVID-19 crisis? The answer is no. Her statement comes after the Department of Corrections made a list of 2,800 inmates at her request who could potentially be released under different scenarios. The process has left groups like the ACLU and some district attorneys frustrated for very different reasons and wondering if she'll change her mind. But it was disappointing to see that no um, larger efforts were going to be undertaken. The ACLU and five other organizations wrote this letter asking Kate Brown to release as many currently incarcerated people as possible. I think we are kidding ourselves if we think that we can ignore the problem in, in our prisons right now. Um, one major outbreak in could result in thousands of deaths. The groups asked the governor to look at older and sick inmates, plus those already close to being released and those who no longer pose a public safety risk. The Department of Corrections came up with these seven buckets of inmates for the governor to consider, which exclude those who did measure 11 violent or sex crimes. It was done with the input of committees, but district attorneys were not invited. The whole process, I'm really both frustrated and concerned with it. Washington County DA Kevin Barton worries dangerous inmates who took plea bargains for lesser crimes could be on the list for potential release. He says victims are now calling his office about their safety. He believes prison reform groups are trying to use the crisis to further their goals of reducing prison populations. And it's those special interest groups that have been involved uh, in this particular initiative that I think are really creating a, a real danger. Now is not the time for politics. Public health experts widely agree that in order to flatten the curve in our communities, we need to be sure we are doing what we can to reduce the population sizes of all sorts of different congregate living places, but that it also includes jails and prisons. So on Friday, the governor wrote decisions on whether to release an inmate early should be on a case by case basis and said at this time, I have no specific plans to abandon that case by case approach, but her language is causing controversy.